Hey, hey, Blue Table fans, Sean here. I've got a new microphone, so I'm interested to hear from you how you like it, how it all works out, how it sounds. Maybe it will be terrible, maybe it will be awesome, nobody knows. Today we're going to start on the site of my guilty, guilty pleasure. That's Bell of Lost Souls, which is currently kind of losing its power box. All right, so first off, I'm here for 40K 8th edition. And let's see. Here we go. 40K breaking new unit profiles teased. Let's take a look. Here it is. So you've got, first off, the big concern was, will 40K go the way of Age of Sigmar? Will it be that drastic of a change? Will it be simplified by that much? And that, boy, that would be a huge question for good old Games Workshop behind the scenes because 40K really is the moneymaker. And I should point out that 40K originally was an expansion off of Warhammer Fantasy. So you saw a lot of the different mecha the fantasy mechanics, like uh, break tests, sort of roll off of Warhammer Fantasy. And I remember playing Warhammer Fantasy for the first time, and I had, I had painted up I had painted up 50 high elf spearmen and they got they got charged by a dragon and they lost the combat I think by 2 and I lost the test and they got overran and so guess what the whole unit was destroyed and I remember I took them on their little cardboard movement tray and I just dumped them like with the maximum amount of disgust into the box. And I was like, that's so lame. What, what kind of game has it where you can just lose all your guys in like one shot? But after that, I got to tell you, I really learned to love that mechanic because it made Warhammer Fantasy this real nail biter where, you know, Hold on, I'm trying to I'm trying to open something on another another page. So here we go. So this is this isn't the edition I started with. I'm pretty sure Warhammer Fantasy. Uh, yeah, I wonder what edition of Warhammer Fantasy I was on. I think this is this is pretty close. It was the one right before where they had like the little humorous little cartoons in it. So all right, so let's go back to unit profiles. Take a look. So you've got movement. You've got different. Different guys go different speeds, so it's not like jet bikes go 12, space marines go 6, whatever it is. And I wonder how much of a special rules section they're going to have. So you have weapon skill, ballistic skill, those things now operate on a roll, so like roll a 3-up, roll a 4-up, whatever it is. And now, ballistics kind of always was that. There was an addition, I can't remember whether it was 3rd to 4th or 4th to 5th, where they took away the modifiers, like to hit, mo like it was minus one to hit someone in light cover or whatever it was. And apparently those are back now. So I find this a lot simpler, a lot more exciting, a lot more streamlined. You still have your strength toughness based on a chart, and that's that's okay, you know. So that's a signal that it's not going to go quite down to two pages of rules for Age of Sigmar. By the way, you nerds, you're like, but I have four pages of rules. Yeah, but only two of them are really about the actual system. The other ones are for setup. So anyway, wounds, attacks, leadership, save. Leadership tests are going to work a little different, where uh, along with Age of Sigmar, you take your wounds that you suffered, roll a d6, and add it together. Very simple equation. And then however many points over your leadership you are, you, that many guys just run away. Something something like that. And in Age of Sigmar, a, a single model unit, a single model guy can't can't run away, basically. And that's that's how they design the system. They they make everything intrinsic. All the all the other so they don't say this guy can't run away, they just make it so that inside of a much simpler system he can't run away. 
because of the way that the dice work, which is, to my mind, a great way to streamline the system. So you've got a Terminator here with movement five, uh, Space Marine with a six, so the Terminators are a little slower. We've got three up, three up for ballistic skill, strength toughness four, I think we're gonna see kind of the same range for those. Uh, Dreadnought has toughness seven, nice. And two wounds for Terminators, for example, I think that's gonna be a big difference. You saw, like in old Warhammer Fantasy, you saw like a greater demon of Nurgle would have 10 wounds, ah, 10 wounds. But in Age of Sigmar, it's like things will have 12 wounds, 16 wounds. They have like a lot of wounds. And I think that's what we're going to see for 40K. We're going to see giant things like knights and land raiders possibly have 20 or more. So I, I predict some things will have 30 or 40 wounds. And with a two-up save and then you roll a hit, you're not going to be able to take those things down with blast guns. Like you'd have to have literally hundreds and hundreds of shots or hits to pick away at those, just based on sort of how the dice work. So, and then saves, uh, apparently save modifiers are, are going, uh, are, excuse me, are save modifiers are a thing. So I think that's, that's really cool. Uh, great quote here, holy terror, this is big news. Uh, sorry, tactical squad marines, you might have two hearts, but I'm okay. That's, that's pretty cool. By the way, Bell of Lost Souls has great com content great uh, consistency, like they, they got new stuff up every day. It, it's really cool. I love it. All right, so let's see. Warhammer unit profiles. Okay, I guess this is just the GW site. Okay, it looks like I'm still loading up here. Maybe the site is not, oh, there it is. Here we go. Uh, vehicles. So let's see. This means there's no differentiation between monsters and vehicles, so you now have a standard system to compare between say, a Carnifex versus a Dreadnought. Speaking of Carnifexes, large monsters like them have a lot more wounds now. There are no super heavy vehicle rules as such. With the stats going above 10, the system is now an increasing scale, which means models that previously fell just shy of super heavy status, the Gorkonaut, for example, can now punch at the appropriate weight and be much more survivable. Guys, I am loving that because it's, it used to be like to get the super heavy rules, you'd have to buy a $50 book. It was imported from England and it just, 40K had become so, so top heavy. I mean, it, complete chaos. So please simplify this, make it exciting. And I, I can't wait to get my hands on some models. I predict I'm gonna have a, a renewed love of all of this. So let's see, oh, initiative stat is gone. You've got charging units striking first, and uh, let's see, strength and toughness. Low strength will still wound on a six plus. That is huge. That means, uh, now, and if that goes on infinity, let's say something has toughness 15, and something has strength three, well, you could still get at it. I believe that's my time, or five. If I want to change the color scheme, no, go away. Just close this one window. There we go. Okay. We're looking good. All right. Let's go to uh, Blogger, new table painting. Oh, this is the thing. So my weekly project update. I think I went over this last time. Nothing really exciting there. I added a new project today. Bunch of, I got I to gotta write a bunch of contracts for the artists, like the instructions sheets. So there's that. And okay. So uh, all right. Let's talk about Spellcrow. Spellcrow, this is a company, I do believe, from Poland. They're definitely somewhere in Europe. And you might think, well, hey, why Poland? Why is, you know, you see all these small companies coming out of there? And I believe it's the labor laws.
that would that would be my that would be my best thing. A single guy can live off of four hundred American dollars. Though, correct me if I'm wrong. That's just what I heard. I don't know. So Spellcrow does upgrades for Games Workshop stuff, and they also have their own models. And they're they're a cool company. They actually sent me some models to review. I haven't quite got around to that yet. And so here we go. Let's see. Uh, yeah, wh what did I want to show you? No, just it's so let's see, chain mount. No, that wasn't it. All right, well, I'm a little embarrassed now. So well, let's just let's just go around. Diniac. I wonder what that is. So here we go. Diniac with the la lant lantern. Diniac starter. Are these are these guys are these guys like with with pumpkin heads? Yeah, they are. Oh, that's so cool. That's great. Yeah, so they, they have their own unique creations. I think those are those are pretty cool. This yeah, this sort of uh, lettering here is reminiscent of the old Rackham figures. And uh, let's see, Chaos Space Knights. Hmm, I wonder what these are going to look like. Cyber Spider Legs. Let's take a look at those. And these are only, uh, this is only like $12. That's pretty cool. That's neat. It's obviously a defiler body. So let's take a look. Space Elves. That's neat. Gatling lasers for Space Elves bikes. Space Elves pilots. Oh, here we go. Space Elves bike. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember these. Oh, uh, these are so cool. I tried to get them to send me a bunch of these so I could make an Eldar army with them. I love this. This is basically a jet bike stand-in. I wish I could make this bigger. Uh, but there you go. You just have to see it on the screen size that I have. Hold on, maybe, maybe there's another picture of it. Let's see. Nope, that is the one picture of it. Well, that's how it goes. Uh, looks like 30 euro for three. That's fantastic. That is really great. Uh, needs to be cleaned and painted, so there you go. Those are enlarged. I think I could just make this something hard. No, I think they look really cool. Yeah, okay, I'm glad I found these because I've been, uh, I remember seeing them and liking them, but then I couldn't find them. Oh, here you go, Space Elves bike. I think this will give us a bigger, bigger picture of just the one guy. There you go. Pretty cool. It's got kind of like this weird scaly stuff on it, but you know, you know me and my oceanic Eldar, and I think those, those are going to make a resurgence because if jet bikes are any good in the new edition, that's great. And by the way, the impending 8th edition, especially since they were really going to revamp it a lot, that really has affected blue table painting. I think there's a huge slowdown right before impending edition. And this is this has been the worst slowdown ever. I mean, it's it has not been great. All right. Well, guys, uh, let's see here. There's that. Super heavy kits. Oh, Chapter House Studios. Now, they haven't updated in a while. Are they still around? I'd love to know. But, uh, you know, my website hasn't been updated in a while. And by the way, I'm look, contact me if uh, you would like to do some basic sort of updating to TQ website. I can uh, compensate you in money or, uh, what is it, stuff that I have. And I'd like somebody with some good skill and that I know. That would be, that would be really great. I just gotta, I gotta, I gotta update that thing. It's really, it's not, it's not doing well for me. But it is nice to know what is, what's at the bottom. So, oh, what I wanted to show you is uh, Tau Academy. This super heavy kits. So Chapter House, assuming they still make it, they produce this super heavy walker that I would love to have in a Tau model. It would super cool. And by the way, this thing is huge. It's like. It's like a foot tall or something like that. I mean, this this thing just makes me it just makes me happy. Little uh, little ghost in the shell ish. And by the way, I am putting up some new lots at bluetablestore.com. I got up a chaos chariot last night, and as you can see, I've got some forge world kits, some new in, new in blister, new on sprue. Uh, just really, uh, I put up I put up hundreds of lots in my recent recent history. And uh, let's take a look at the back of this. In fact, let's view products. 
So this, this page, part of the back page, shows what I've put up versus what's sold. So the green lines mean it hasn't sold yet. And as you can see, a, a goodly portion of them sell, but not all of them. And there's, there's some good stuff, armies, painted stuff. You know, things are just ready to go on the table, or if you prefer to paint your own, a lot of the stuff is assembled and ready to paint. Uh, it's just, it's just, it's it's a lot. As you can see, wow, my sales have been my sales have been pretty good, pretty good on that. That makes that makes Sean happy, happy inside his dark, cold little heart. Well, guys, that's it for the show for today. I have a a morning show coming tomorrow with my new assistant Jamie. And uh, I think I think it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of fun. She's she's gonna wear cat ears apparently, so can't can't wait to see what that's all about. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for supporting the company. Uh, yeah, sending out sending your good vibes. 